Good morning, Life Point Church, and welcome back to this week's Daily Devotional. Today is Wednesday. Yay, we're almost through it, and I look forward to seeing you here tonight for service. I think we're going to have just a great time. I got a short scripture and a thought to share with you today. Um, it was on this day in 1966 that the first picture from the moon's orbit was sent back to Earth. For the first time, people all got to see the Earth as was looking from the moon. Usually, we're staring up at the moon, wondering what it's like to be up there. And now, for the first time, humans were able to see the Earth from the moon's orbit. Now, it's not the resolution that we're used to seeing in pictures, but it's still something amazing, something crazy. I mean, and then soon after that, it was Neil Armstrong that stepped foot on the moon, and he got to see personally the Earth from the moon's surface. And it's just amazing. Now, most people that got to go up in outer space and they got to look back at the Earth, they all say, or most of them say, something very similar, saying that the Earth is a beautiful planet, but it looks pretty small from outer space. <laughs> now, when we're standing here on Earth and we look up at the moon, we kind of think of ourselves, hey, we're pretty big. We're, we're kind of something going on here. But when we step away from it, from the moon's perspective, the Earth looks pretty small. And really, the Bible gives us some of this observation also in the Word of God. In Psalms um, chapter 8, it says, When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Wow, what a thought there. So really, we aren't that big. And when we think of it, sometimes we even begin to think, what is it that we're so important that God pays so much attention to us? With the vast universe that's out there and all the galaxies and all the things that God could do, he looks at us and he gave us a savior and he gave us a plan that we can join him one day. Wow, it really is something amazing. So even if you think something high of yourself or sometimes we think low of ourselves, aren't you glad that God came to save us, that he came to die for our sins and to pave a way for us that we could make it to him. I'm so glad and so thankful for a Savior. Let's go ahead and think about that today. And thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you so much for joining me here today for our daily devotional. Once again, I look forward to joining you here for service tonight. I think we're going to have a great and wonderful time. I'll see you later.